Figure this, figure that. Welcome to the Don's Figure Chat. Today we're going to be talking about two kit bash figures, which for the newbies is where you've got outfits and bodies and made yourself a figure. So sometimes the outfit comes boxed, sometimes it just comes loose. And then it's up to you what you do with it from there. I'll start with Conan. If you can see his face there. It's quite a great likeness, I think. But it's amazing. You take off the headband, it doesn't look like him at all. It's a funny, funny setup. It's on the M35 Fishion body, the stainless steel armature. Uh, he comes with everything you see there, bar the body and the stand, the base I added. I think it's from a Lady of Death figure uh, from another maker. I can't remember who. It's not picking up white nicely with this uh, bright light. I'll tell you about that. While I'm down, I might as well show you his boots. So, I mean, it's good quality stuff, you know? Die cost sword. Die cost sword. But excuse me, I see something on the sword. It looks like a hair or something. How did that get there? Sorry, folks. There was a hair or something on his sword. I just dusted that. There's die cost sword. Bit of engraving at the top. Quite nice. And these are Thor Ragnarok hands. Thor Gladiator Ragnarok. Oh, I thought they'd go nice with this Conan figure. He does come with hands and the leather gauntlets. He comes with that belt. Uh, WWE belt. Uh, he comes with the two pendants. He comes with a dagger. I was lucky I had two of these. One was a kit and... Yeah, well, one was like an already kitted out figure that I bought. That uh, I've bastardized to add to this one. But what do you think, folks? That's a really nice figure, eh? Conan the Barbarian by Crom. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Can you see the muscle definition on these fusion bodies? And they've got uh, stainless steel armatures, eh? You can bend it into any pose. You've got a ball joint in the neck, in the shoulders, the elbows, the knees, the hips, everything just moves so freely. They are a pleasure to pose, eh? Downside of, you know, I've never had that into me yet. Touch wood, so I touched my head. Uh -huh. The material, this fleshy material perishes sometimes, but I think that's also down a lot to the climate, you know? So yeah, there we go. Conan, let's move across now to another kit bash figure. This I put on a Zai Toys muscular body. It's the, the kit form of Logan. Uh, he comes in the suit version and he comes in this version. And I've got uh, a bloodied fist on him there. And I've got one of an open palm, open palm uh, blade, which is new. I think I mentioned that on one of the other reviews. There's his face, head sculpt. Bloody nice. Look at that, look at the detail. Nice, eh? Dog tags. I changed up the shoes. I didn't like the shoes. Like boot type things. But they were fancy dress boots, so I changed them up to these boots. I think they look better, they suit the figure better. Excuse the stand, he's not on his usual stand, it's packed away. This here, there's another head sculpt you can buy for him. Uh, I got this one from 1-6 kit. Uh, very, very nice. You also can get the torso. And you can display the second head sculpt alongside your kit bashed, kish, kit bashed figure. Sorry, my teeth got in the way. <laughs> uh, it's not easy being old. There we go. So there's the... Quite nice detail, eh, folk? What do you think? What do you think? I think that's brilliant. Back to Joe Sopia. Here we go. There's Logan. 
jacket's nice he's got a vest the shirt uh, his jeans are quite nice you know all in all it's a nice figure to have in your display you know suits really well fits really well so to go back so this is two unboxed figures they they loose they are outfits and kits that are bought and put together to so you end up with the finished article in front of you and honestly they're nice they're nice just because it's you that's put them together doesn't mean they're not as nice as hot toys if the quality is good then a kit bash figure can look the bomb, eh? Can be the star of your collection at times, you know? So never, don't be scared of kit bashing. I'll tell you what, some figures it works out more expensive. Especially if you go for the name brand that it's associated with. Yeah, but all in all, eh? Two buttes. Uh, if you want to see more of my uh, kit bashing and tips and tricks and more reviews, please hit subscribe and like. Uh, hit me up with some questions. I'll answer all that I can. If not, I'll ask my uh, so-called elders in the groups and see what they say. I'll definitely get an answer for you. And uh, yeah, hit like and subscribe. Thanks very much for listening and watching. To all the hobbyists and one sixes out there, sweet, peace out, figure this, figure that.